Hello friends, today we are going to learn A Tale of Dove by Jonathan Swift. It is a prose satire, it is a mockery, and this work is started in the year 1696, which was concluded in the year 1699. And this work took a bit more years to publish, and uh, finally it was published in the year 1704. But one thing we need to remember, it was uh, published without any name. It was published anonymously. All right. Now, what was the aim of this book? Without book, the writer will not write any piece of writing. All right. So, first aim of this book was to expound the hypocrisy of religion in early 18th century. We know because of religion clashes, what all things happen in England, especially in church. Okay. Next aim is to explore ideas about critic. Now, critic should. Uh, should they criticize the work which existed earlier or the new work? Okay, throughout the story we find this dilemma. Alright, and the uh, oration, the preachings or ceremonial speeches of the churches, ancient and modern philosophies and digressions. All these are aim, second aim of this writing. Okay, let's move to the title now. The tub. This tub refers to that sailors used to toss out to distract whales from tipping their ships. Now, this tub, okay, this was kept by the sailors, okay, which they used to throw in the water in order to distract these whales. These whales will be engaged in this tub and they will be safe, all right? But this has symbolic representation. Now, ship represents the status quo of the English government and its religious structure. Okay, then whale. Whale symbolizes new ideas and controversies. Then the book. Okay, this book, uh, the tale of uh, tub, it was not approved by Anglican Church and monarchs as well. Okay, Anglican Church did not accept it and not, it was not accepted by monarchy as well monarchical government as well okay kings and queens also did not approve of it now it does not it does not have a clear organizational structure in the story we don't find which structure he is talking about because it is full of allegory okay it does not clearly say that the story is ridiculing okay it is criticizing one particular institute we have to understand it by ourselves that this is regarding church Will clear now to be in safer side in the preface we find 11 sections uh, it has preface okay where he clearly mentions that uh, its motive is uh, not to crit criticize and uh, his work should not be misunderstood but it happens okay and uh, eventually he be he was in problem because of this book all right it has preface then 11 sections and then conclusion this question might be asked in the examination how many sections are there in this book and what does tub ship and the uh, whale represent okay not only that which all institutions did not approve of the book you must write anglican church and monarchs okay let's move to the next page now friends in the story we find three brothers and uh, they represent catholicism protestantism and Puritanism, okay, and then digression we find in the story, okay, it talks about critics, modernity, digressions, okay, digression talks about digressions, okay, it means uh, keeping oneself aloof and uh, seeing the situation, okay, then madness of the soul as well as his literary intentions, okay, in between he, the narrator explains, okay, the purposes, the motives, the aims of that particular situation through digression. Alright. Now, preface and intro. See, it is full of satire. I told you it is prose satire. The preface and intro, it is full of satire. And therefore, he had to hide his name because it was a mockery to the uh, preachers of the church and rulers of the government. Okay. So, let us start with the story now. At first, we find three brothers, Peter, Martin and Jack. I told you they represent Catholicism, Protestantism and then 
puritanism okay now these three brothers they are away from father and they receive a letter through that letter uh, they get the information that father uh, is in need of them okay and when they come to father they find father is already dead all right now here father represents god okay father represents god and the will that he that he keeps for his son this will is regarded as bible okay then he leaves three coats okay the coats that we wear all right he leaves father is already dead okay he left a will okay will and uh, three coats okay now according to the will it should not uh, it should not be altered else it will ruin their future now these three quotes okay these three quotes for these three uh, sons peter martin and jack whatever is given the uh, the, the quotes which is given to them should not be altered it should be kept intact okay but okay um let's talk something else here peter represents catholic church and uh, he begins to uh, he begins to add to their quotes okay now he wants to decorate it all right he wants to beautify the coat and uh, as i told you that will represents uh, bible okay and three quotes teachings of bibles now according to the will of peter he is changing the sayings or the preachings of the bible that is what uh, jonathan wants to show to the reader now narrator defines critics now narrator defines critics means the older version of the will was better or the newer one because newer one is fit for peter okay he will criticize older form all right and the person who has given they will he will criticize the newer version so what should be criticized that is defined in length i hope this is clear to you all friends then we see peter gains more power over his brothers and uh, after getting power people, uh, peter tries to dominate martin and jack martin represents church of england and jack puritanism okay and both of them are controlled by peter or catholic church they object peter now these two brothers could not tolerate peter and they made a planning and they said that we are not going to listen to you all right and peter becomes very angry and and he threw out he kicks out both the brothers martin and jack okay this shows reformation or transformation okay transformation from one uh, identity to another identity let us continue friends here brothers tries to fix their coats martin and jack they try to fix their coats they want to decorate it okay they want to make it suitable according to your according to their requirement but further damages it let us see who does it specially martin does it very carefully okay so and uh, the coat was not damaged but jack is careless he is young brother and he is careless therefore he starts uh, extracting the uh, decoratives okay which was there in the coat there on the coat sorry and he uh, while doing that while taking out all the accessories okay all the adornments he makes hole in the coat okay this shows that the bible whatever is the teaching of the bible uh, if they try to make changes if they try to make amendments then it is going to ruin the core essence of bible itself okay now this represents difference between their religious outlook um and the extent to which they are discontracting the old catholic teachings i told you just now that when they are changing the coat it symbolizes the teachings preachings of bible is also being um, doctored okay it, it is also being changed all right according to their requirement now through digression he highlights ideas that support his main argument about the ridiculousness of religion in fighting and dogmas now the fixed mindset okay the fixed mindset should is you know being discussed here the ideas should be changed or not okay the fixed ideas should be changed according to the time or it should be kept intact that is 
that is what a uh, writer explains to the readers now both the brothers are at odds obviously this is going to happen one is making the uh, one is uh, you know adding the adornment and another one is removing it so both the uh, brothers mindset is not going to be same therefore they were they were always found at odds okay their conversations did not match their mindset did not match so at last what happens let us see peter and martin why for the attention of various monarchs and this is done to get power monarchs kings and queens the rulers are very powerful and if they attach if these two attach themselves with the political uh, part political parties or governing parties then automatically they are going to have power all right so they uh, ran after monarchs okay they ran after monarchs whereas jack becomes extreme okay he takes things very seriously he starts uh, hating music okay and another group of christianity was formed then we see these three brothers fight continuously because their mindset is not same and this is uh, going to happen okay this is going to happen everywhere even if in a family even if in our family if four heads are there and four heads are talking different uh, uh, topics okay different sol or a different solution to one problem then automatically it is not going to be solved okay the same thing happened with peter martin and jack as well in order to do their desired things they molded the will as i told you the court which represents the preachings of bible was altered by these three boys according to their requirement then we see peter and jack teamed up against martin now after a few time peter and jack they get together and they work they start working against martin okay these to become together and they start working against martin but later on when peter was in trouble jack did not come jack leaves him okay and when jack was in problem peter leaves him okay so this shows that even though they were united it was not genuine unition at all all right now finally at last writer says that if somebody wants peace from all these all these hodgepodge situation of life okay then they should go to australia for peace okay by this he ends the story so i hope it is clear to you all we will meet in the next video till then take care bye bye